Hello my dear friends, this is Ritu and welcome to my channel. I start this session today by wishing all of my fellow Indians, countrymen, everybody a very very happy 75th Independence Day. For this special occasion, I am going to do a very uh, different recipe. Uh, and let me run you through the ingredients. For this recipe, we need two cups of semolina, a cup of uh, 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 spinach puree, a cup of tomato puree, a cup of yogurt, um, some ginger, around uh, three, four tablespoon of a ginger, salt to taste. These, these are fruit salts. I have taken around one and a half teaspoon. And this is a mix of half teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. And finally, I have the ingredients for the tempering. Asafoetida, a pinch, one teaspoon of mustard seed and two, four, around four tablespoons, teaspoons of sesame seeds um, so the first thing we do is to um, add the turmeric and the red, uh, Kashmiri red chili powder to the tomato uh, puree and give it a good mix now the second step is going to be to uh, to the semolina I'm going to add the salt to taste and then I give it a good mix. And after I mix it properly, I divide this uh, semolina equally into the three bowls. Yeah, now I have the semolina divided it equally into three bowls with the salt in it. Now I'm going to add the ginger equally to this. Uh, to the three bowls moving on uh, the ginger is into the semolina bowls and then I am adding around two tablespoons of yogurt to each bowl add the tomato puree and I'm going to let the semolina rest for around 5 to 10 minutes as the semolina is definitely going to absorb the, uh, the liquid from the puree and now I add um, with a different spoon I'm going to add, mix the second bowl So it, it this it seems like a very thick uh, uh, batter, but uh, you know what I did was I uh, when I was grinding the puree of the spinach leaves, I hardly added any water to it. So you know because I don't want it to make it very watery, and I wanted the green color to come richly to the semolina later on. <laughs> so what I'll do is to maybe later on I'll be adding a bit of yogurt to it to make it a bit runny. A tablespoon of yogurt and then if I need more I will use some water. The last mix I have the ginger as well as the yogurt in a bit but I'm going to add only yogurt to this one and give it a good thorough mix again let it stand for 10 minutes all of them together 
and then I come back. So now the batter has rested for 10 minutes and I have added a bit of water, a tablespoon at a time and then give it a mix. So it is a thick batter and don't let it be runny. Okay now what I am going to do is I am going to equally divide the fruit sauce equally among these three bowls. After adding the fruit sauce, just add a little teaspoon of uh, water on top of the fruit sauce so it they start getting active and then I give it a good mix. One thing I forgot was to add around half a tablespoon of oil to all the batters which I did at this stage but it's better to do it before when you start mixing the batter and I've added half a teaspoon, tablespoon actually to all the batters, all the colors actually and then I have a muffin mold silicon muffin mold and I am going to layer it what I have done is I put a spoon under the muffin uh, mold just to keep give it a keep it at a tilt at a, an angle at an angle and then I put the first layer then I put the second layer and then I put the Yeah. and that is how I've been progressing this one I've done in uh, uh, three layers with the orange one the tomato butter in the bottom and the the white butter in the middle and the green on top but I realized I have overfilled the mold because it needs some paste to rise also cooking this batch in a microwave now what I've done is I've kept the muffin tray in a plate which I've always mentioned is easier to uh, manage and then what I've done is put a half cup of uh, water into the plate and then I close it and I run it for three minutes. I have another silicone mold over here, uh, loaf mold. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm again going to tilt it a bit like this and then I'll put the orange, uh, the red batter over here, the white batter and then the green batter. Um, you can, uh, if you don't have the silicone molds, you can do it with a, a normal bowl. And uh, this is again a trial error recipe in the sense, uh, once I had the batter ready, but uh, you know, the... We finished our gas and then you know I had to use this method to cook my breakfast and it turned out to be good another another way of doing a certain thing which is done in a very different way, way traditionally so this is what I was aiming for I have it in uh, uh, three parts and uh, what I am going to do is just with the chopstick, I'm just going to give it that marble effect. Moving on, I have uh, my uh, this 
this uh, is the same batter but different pans so I have it over here and again I placed it in a uh, plate with a bit of water in it and I'll run it for at least uh, start with uh, four four minutes and if I need more then I'll cook. I have a, a cup or uh, around cup of water boiling and to that I'm adding uh, around two tablespoons of sugar it's like for each cup of similar now one tablespoon of sugar I also want to show you how they've come out and I'm quite surprised the colors are the vegetables have retained the colors and uh, because of the uh, turmeric and uh, the red chili powder we added to the tomato puree the saffron color has come out so nicely and I just felt that I can uh, just add a bit of moisture to these then I let it sit for some time around a few hours and then I will and mold them to the sugar uh, infused water I'm going to add it can't be called syrup it's hardly any sugar into it and then once I take it off the stove I'm going to add uh, lemon to it give it a good mix added uh, around one tablespoon of lemon juice to this mix the sugars water and then I'm going to just pour it a bit on the so it doesn't dry it has some moisture and then I'm going to let it sit for some time Easily uh, soak up the water. See, uh, it's been resting with the uh, sugar and uh, lemon syrup. And uh, I, at this stage, I would like to uh, say that the the uh, spinach I used was not blanched. It was a raw spinach which I put it in a chutney jar and blended and grind it into a very fine paste even the tomatoes one thing or another thing you can also do is to add the ginger and uh, chili if you want to the uh, the vegetables we are puring that is tomato and the spinach and uh, i have not added chili because uh, we have a chili partiality at home so we can't use chili everywhere we want but uh, here you could have used uh, for the tomato paste you could have used the red chili and uh, for the spinach paste the green chilies and uh, if you want to add uh, to the white batter anything uh, to add the spice you can add white pepper powder that was the one thing I wanted to mention another thing was that the semolona was not roasted and uh, I think that's it I've come on to the last stage uh, that is the tempering so I've heated the oil and then I am going to add the mustard seed and the esophyteta also and then Add the sesame seeds also. And once the tempting is ready, we just ladle uh, like spread it a bit on the dhokla.
the doklas are along with the vegetables for the coloring have come out very spongy and uh, and even the loaf has turned out which can be cut into pieces and with this i end this recipe i hope you enjoyed it as much i enjoyed making it and i would also like to wish all my uh, brothers sisters family friends and all my indians uh, every indian i would say a very very happy uh, 75 years of independence and 76 independence day bye for now and take care